Hey guys, Cruxel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to find the perfect background for your Steam profile and create and upload your long artworks. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Don't know how to build a team from scratch or find good teammates? Dreamteam.gg, the ultimate team building platform. Find and connect with new players, coaches, and teams. Manage and monetize your team. Get on fast track to advance from novice to amateur and, if desired, to professional gamer. Join dreamteam.gg today. So this is episode two of my Steam profile customization. Episode one had a lot of basics and how to nail your initial aesthetic and rank up your account. So make sure you check that out in case you missed it. So today we're gonna show how to get the perfect background and you're gonna wanna be using this website that I'm gonna link down below, which is gonna allow you to browse all these Steam backgrounds that exist through different hues, brightnesses, saturations, names, the different games, even the dates or the price range. So obviously I'm gonna sort by hue real quick here and the first ones are gonna be pretty much black and white. And then as you scroll, I'm gonna go through here through the greens and blues and it is a bit laggy because it's loading tons of images per page all the time pretty much. So I'm gonna go down through until I see purple because a lot of people wanna have space backgrounds and I'm gonna to show you what's good about certain backgrounds and what's not. So as I scroll through here, I'm going to be trying to look for good ones, not these weird ones like this random planet coaster guest that looks terrible. Like I said, I'm scrolling through until I find a cool outer space one. A lot of these are going to have some pretty high prices if they look nice, so keep that in mind. So up first, I saw this one which caught my eye, which is a cool little space scene. And while it is pretty cheap, there is a reason for that. So when I go to the image here, you're gonna click the price icon on this website and then click view full size. And I think a lot of these people that design backgrounds don't think of it in the context of actually being in your profile. So as you can see here, there is tons of vignetting around the outer rim of the image, which is basically just the black circle that you get from like lenses that people try to emulate in backgrounds. So you're basically having a lot of wasted opportunity there. So I'm gonna keep scrolling through as that one isn't gonna be very good. There's gonna be a lot of black space on my profile and I want it to be as colorful and vivid as possible. So I found this really cool space background here, which has almost no vignetting, a little bit on the corners. I'm gonna click view full size, and while it is expensive at $5, there's a reason for that, because it's one, very rare, and two, this is badass and would make for a really cool outer space themed profile. For the sake of the video though, I'm not gonna buy it, as I have some nice wallpapers myself, and I'm just gonna show one of those off. So what I would do here, if this is what I wanted, is copy that URL for the image itself and go over to steam.design, which I'm going to link in the description as well, and click change background. It's going to load everything up for you and show you in the context of an actual profile how it looks. So this is the actual background I'm going to be using in the video. As you can see, it's one that looks very nice. It does have actually a lot of vignetting, unlike what I just said, but in the context of this, it does look pretty cool and it kind of adds a focus to the artwork. And it was cheap and I had it already, so I'm just going to use this as an example for the video because I've already gone through and made my artwork that I'm keeping for life. So on this site, once you load it in, you can actually click the bottom of the image to drag it and resize it. I like having the full width, but if you don't want to have that, you can turn off enable long images from the settings up here. You can enable screenshot showcase as well, which will add you a screenshot showcase and there's different options for changing the right bar. I like having the long image on the right in my opinion, but also the screenshot showcase can be a bit buggy for me. I wasn't even able to scroll through it, which isn't huge because if you have a full length artwork, you don't really need the screenshot showcase to be part of the profile as well. You can just upload actual video game screenshots like I have done. So once you click download zip, once you found an image that you like and have bought the background yourself, it's going to download a zip folder, which you're going to open with RINRAR. It's going to have some readme text files, but also mainly the avatar, the artwork middle and the artwork right top if you just chose to have one long side image. So as you can see here, it says right top because there's actually traditionally three items that you can have here but you only need one if you just want the long bar and there is the avatar as well which you can add and i'm going to show you guys how to open these up and honestly the best option for this is going to be photoshop if you don't know how to get it for free or you don't want to pay for it gimp is another great option which is available on mac and pc and i actually used it for a long time designing before i had photoshop or knew how to crack it it is very similar for this video i'm going to be using just photoshop actually so as you can see here i've loaded in all three of the images which is the side artwork the main artwork and then my avatar and I'm gonna get to work on the avatar. Now, a tip for you guys, I honestly generally stick with a logo or one character of my name in a cool font. So I loaded my black metal logo that I made for myself a while ago, and while it does look cool when I apply the drop shadow and everything, when you zoom out, which is gonna be seen in the context of a game, very small, it didn't look that good. So like I said, picking a cool font, just choosing the first character of your Steam name, or choosing a logo and applying a bit of drop shadow by clicking the effects tab and then click drop shadow 
can go a really far ways and it honestly in the terms of the avatar i think simpler is better guys it's going to look really clean with your profile as well and here you can see i just chose a c in my favorite font lemon milk regular and now i'm going to get to work on the actual artwork itself so this one you can basically be pretty free with it you can add your own logo your own text you have all this space to play around for me, I like just having the clean name and then saying welcome to my profile, and then I usually have a little sentiment at the bottom. For example, I have comment before adding me because I have a lot of friend requests. I don't even think you could send me friend requests at this point because it's all maxed out. So yeah, guys, and then once you finish your artwork, before you upload it, you're gonna wanna download the Steam.Design Buttons plugin for Chrome. This is completely legit. You might see some one-star reviews, but that's because they're idiots that don't know how to use it. And I vouch for this myself. It adds a lot of simplicity with uploading the long artwork, and the only way I'm gonna show you here. So once you go to your profile, you're gonna click artwork, and if you don't see that, you're gonna have to go to a video games hub on the Steam community tab, and then click artwork and upload from there. You can choose a game's name, but that might get it removed if it's not actually related to the game and the moderator sees it. So click not game specific, add a title, choose your file, and this first run through, I'm just showing you what happens if you don't have this Chrome plugin that I just listed. I have chosen my file, you can add a description if you'd like, certify that you created the artwork and upload it. So right now it looks fine in the context of just the artwork itself, but once I upload it, you can see it has this weird gray bar and doesn't even go full size. So actually you need to tweak a little bit of the coding in the console of the page when you upload it to allow it to upload with the full length. And that is what this plugin does. You used to have to do it by hand, which is actually really frustrating at times and added a lot of complication. So now when you do upload, you just click this upload along image button. You'll see the page start to load for a little bit and there's not really a notification that it worked, but just trust that it injected it into the little console here. You can go into it and do it manually if you'd like. There are tutorials on that, but like I said, this just simplifies it. So I'm gonna show you this way as it's super easy. Uploads it like normal. No, you will not get VAC for any of this stuff as it's just through Chrome and you're literally just changing the coding. Everyone has to do it for their profiles. So once you choose your background and then upload the artwork, you'll see that it actually uploads a full size. It'll be a little weird bar here and that's how you can tell it worked actually surprisingly. And once it loads in fully, you can see it looks really nice on the profile context and it lines up perfectly. You used to have to actually go into Photoshop and crop it yourself. But now with this steam.design tools, it helps you immensely. So as you can see, I uploaded my avatar as well and my side artwork, which you can do the same process. Just upload it and click upload as a long artwork. And guys, just as a simple non-video profile, it looks really clean here. And in my opinion, this looks super legit. In the next episode, I'm gonna be actually showing you guys how to animate it and upload it as I wanted that to be its own video. I could see that being well over 10 minutes, honestly, if I get really in depth on it, which I'm gonna try to. But for a still profile, this is gonna pass as looking pretty badass, guys. And you don't have to worry about quality issues with the image as you can upload in as high as you want you're not going to cross over that eight megabyte threshold that they have limited on artworks so if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comments below and that does it for episode two hopefully this helped you out quite a bit make sure to check out the links below to find the right tools that i listed in this video i'm gonna have all them down in the description and stay tuned for episode three guys thanks for watching